Hello friends, family, and fans. I'm Harder D, and we are back playing the game Kane. Um, it is a point-and-click adventure. It's very hard to describe what's happening in this game. It's been a few days, so I'll just give it a quick sum up. Is that we're a pregnant girl that uh, they're trying to extract the baby that we blew up with a lot of stuff. and We blew up a lot of stuff, and we found a giant... I don't know how to describe it. It's like a torso with a womb. Um, but that's it. But that's the only thing that's on it. It's just the torso. And, uh, yeah, so we're just running around and uh, doing stuff. So, <laughs> I still have no idea. But anyways, let's jump back in. Whoop! All right, so here we go. Uh, continue. So, last time I said that I would discover how to use the broken mechanism. So, what you do is use the blade with... The stripper pole. And that somehow makes it more of a, uh, whatchamacallit, a switch. I mean, a lever. Because adding a blade to everything makes sense. There we go. So yeah, that's our girl. Uh, her name is Hadley. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, she's pregnant. Like, very pregnant. Holy Toledo. The worst that could happen. Oh no, I'm making it! Ah! <laughs> Why? Oh, be darned. Like cracking open a lobster. I think I'm gonna hurl. Ever did like seafood. <laughs> I think I'll be giving it a skip going forward. Oh. The thing was like, had like multiple things. Oh. Oh. Well, I have a lot of regret now. Just a lot. But at least we can get um, can the piece off of this dude. There you go. Broken piece. Well. When she woe boat, I was busy reading. <laughs> Ow! What the poop? Did I lose? Oh. What is this? What, what, what am I looking at? I'm confused. Okay, are those... Are those things just statues or... Oh, man, there's some guys. Oh, oh! Okay, yeah, they're statues. Yeah, that would have sucked to be pulled into that. Understatement of the year. <laughs> she got pulled into a weird, gross, amniotic fluid substance by weird things. And, you know, that was nasty. So, like, girl, you are the most, like, emotionally stable person ever to not freak out. All right, stasis pod. The chief hors d'oeuvre of this... Perverse tableau. Uh, limp, a limp body slouches, bet slouches between the cables and circulatory of its life support apparatus. Okay. Grasping hands. The crumbling fingers seem almost to hesitate, perhaps with pious wonder about the stasis pod. Alright. What am I doing? Kneeling idol. A moldering monument to the humanity's many sins. Oh, no. Well, I mean, the person that we talked to also uh, was quoting Bible scripture, so you know that he's a charmer. Baptism pool. The engraved inscription reads, These waters shall wash away your depravities, your lies, and your hubris. <laughs> yeah, hubris. Okay, cool. Um, all right. <laughs> what was the entire purpose of bringing me here? Can I go through here? No? Okay, yeah. Stasis pod, I see it. Oh, wait, something happened. Hello? Where's my mouse? I don't know where my mouse went. Guys, where did my mouse go? Um, 
All right, technical difficulties. Give me a second. Whoop. Okay, guys, now we're back. So, I don't know what happened with the game. I had to close it, reopen it, and then I had to redo the, uh, the stuff. Um, excuse me. But yeah, I had to redo all that kind of stuff. Um... Oh yeah, other than that, I have no idea exactly what to do. Oh! Oh, okay. What do you see? Kane. I think this is Hendrik Kane. Oh! Hendrik is dead. <laughs> well, hallelujah then. <laughs> Alive? In stasis. <laughs> yes, yes. I know you're in there, trust me. I know. You don't have to remind me. I can feel you, alright? I guess she's talking to her baby at that point. Is it? Is it like... Now I'm curious, is it a real baby? Or like... Because they're saying, like I said about before, is that I'm assuming that they put it in her. Oh no, it was... It was a... It, never mind, it was um... I forgot, it was like a conspiracy because she got pregnant from a dude. Yeah. And then it all went to shit. So, I guess it's a real baby. Uh, prostrate, prostrate human effigies. Rapturous faces gaze onto the light, praying for grace and absolution that will never come. Kneeling children. Even the innocent must grovel in the obscene beatitude. What does that mean? Uh, shallow skin bulges around a th thousand gossamer scars. The surgical seams of the patchwork messiah. Iron candle. The flames wither and wane in the stale air. Can't I just, just take a candle and be like, alright, I'm done. <laughs> Grasping hands. Okay, look. Cryo control panel. Let's stick with this. <laughs> Oh! Awesome! Oh, relax. It'll take months for you to thaw out. <laughs> Alright! Once again, I will say that this lady is absolutely my favorite protagonist that I've, like, ever played. Just because, like, for once we actually have a protagonist that, like, just doesn't give a shit. Oh no! Yeah, we're gonna save. But yeah, so like, you know, she's got a really dark sense of humor, which I absolutely adore. And, like, she's not all, like, oh my god, at every single thing. Like, she's pretty level-headed. Like, I really like her. Oh, this place looks just delightful. Alright, so, do we go in here? Because now I believe we have the three pieces we need to make a PT, D, PDT. Yeah. Oh, no, not this. Oh, I didn't want to get back into this room. This is terrible. Go away. If you guys remember, we also got a whip, just in case we want to be extra kinky. Yep, because, I mean, let's face it. Like, what other uses do you have for a whip? <laughs> like, seriously, though, like, what are the, what's the other points of it? You use it for kinkiness, and that's pretty much it. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, so there's that force field. We came out this door here. Um, crew facilities. Bir birthing lab nexus. Well, that actually makes a lot more sense now. Yeah, we're trying to go through this door here. And that's why we we need a PDT. <sighs> and while I have it here, I'm gonna just get a wonderfully put out that Barks made a drink called Spicy Cherry. Spicy Cherry, you know, oh, that's the French side. Cherry Bite Barks. You know, spicy cherry flavored soda. I have to say, I'm kind of disappointed. 
I like cherry and all that, but it's like, it's not. Like, I think they forgot to put the bite into mine because, like. Hi, just... friend. I'm Ralph. Let's print the PDT together. Alright. But yeah, I mean, they're saying it's a like. When you hear spicy cherry, you're all like, mmm, that sounds like it's really gonna give it a good bite. It's just cherry pop. That's it. It makes me sad. Emo's here. But yeah, I thought I'd just, you know, let you guys know that, because. Because why not? I mean, you know, what do you guys got to lose than to listen to me ramble about stuff? Alright, um. Maybe I. I don't know how to put. Broken. Blank PDT on the bed. Do I put it on the bed? Um, this thing. Oh, there we go. We actually blank PDT accepted. That fits nicely. Fantastic. Why can't I just open my inventory and do it from here? All right, broken PDT. Yeah, let's Template PDT accepted. Awesome. Glad I don't have to touch that again. <laughs> Red. Okay, so we got that. And then, um. Voice recorder, John Kern. Glossy photo. Omni tool data records. Uh, ah, cryo unit. Why does it need a cryo unit? I'm so confused. Cryo regulator accepted. There you go. Whoa, what's with the weird face? Right here. It's like, eh, eh. Why is there a random. Oh, I guess it's the face that. This is the face. Alright, that makes even less. I don't even know. Just print it. Just print the PDT. Oh, Woo! wonderful. Your PDT has been printed. Fantastic. Oopsie. An incorrect cryo regulator has been used. An overload is imminent. Oh. Goodbye. Dicks. I do love this little point and click adventure with actual, like, cinematic, you know, things. Holy poop, the room just died. Okay. The security system is reset. The elevator should be open, and I have a PDT. Fantastic. I can hear the alert. You must be close. Your mom's close. Well, I just blew the cr I'm really good at blowing stuff up. Like, if you guys have watched all my episodes, you'll know. Um... I don't like this. Uh, if you guys remember, I've blown up, like, tons of stuff right now. Can't what? What's wrong? The barrier is torn to pieces. Oh. Be vigilant, Hadley. I'm counting on you. Be brave. You can do this. You're doing it. Doing what? Wait. Brain emulation lab. Why didn't I just go there? Da 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 and people say pregnant ladies, like, are incapable of doing stuff. Oh, jeez! This girl is really gonna throw up herself around. What is it? Did I die? Kane! Wait. Did I actually die? Not gonna lie though, absolutely amazing death cinematic. Oh, that was... Um... Where am I? Oh, there I am. Um... Oh, come on! What's up? Oh, what the... Can I skip this? Oh, there we go. 
Alright, so apparently that actually is the death. Huh. Wow. Again, absolutely amazing cinematic for my death. Okay, then. Alright, let's go to this brain emulation lab because it's absolutely open. Come on, girly. I still wonder why this is a slow spinning fan, but I don't seem to be able to do anything. little girl, my sweet creature. You're alive. Do you know me? Know you? Oh, my girl. I know you better than you know yourself right now. What? Oh, God. Adams will suffice. Happily, you need to go. No. And how is the masterpiece inside of you? Healthy, I hope. Growing quickly now, I'm sure. It's nearly You know, time. it's a baby. What do you mean? Our baby, Adley. Um... Uh, talk about my baby. Why did you take me? You were the right person in the right place at the right time. Can... Yeah? Can you help me get out of here? Don't trust him. Out of here? Don't worry about getting out. Security will be here soon. They'll set this all right. I'm pretty Just sure I've blown up literally everything. Here. This is the safest room in the facility. Here. Closer to me. I'm good, thanks. I think so. I'm really not wanting this guy to exist. Dr. Adams. Wheezing obscenely with every breath, he watches Hadley with a smug sneer. He's sneer. Lacerated floor paneling. The damaged of oh. oh fire suppression. What is that thing out there? Samantha. A grotesque violation of genetics. Oh. But she is locked away. Joseph managed to lure her behind the warning fence. Quite the action hero, our Joseph. He awesome. didn't die rather spectacularly. Joseph. The fence has been ripped open, and your experiment is going to tear us all to pieces. <laughs> no, no, no. All three of us will be safe very soon. Then we can carry on where we left off. Uh, giant I said don't talk about my baby. Giant extracting machine that was pretty much going to rip me apart? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm good, thanks. I'm good. All right. Plas plastic covered surgical chair. Um, I don't want to read a PDA. Fire suppression foam. Ooh. Sizzling fire. So, last reading. Um, damage is closed section of the maintenance system. All right, so up oh, bent floor panelings. Well, I don't know what that dude's. Hadley, you can't leave me. Shut up. No one likes you. All right. What now do I do with the fire suppression? Like, that's really the question that I have here. Do I go back here? Is there something in here I need? Mmm. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, awesome. Um, fire suppression cylinder on burning machinery. On burning machinery. Um... Alright, guess not. There's so many fires! I literally blow up everything! How am I supposed to know which area I'm supposed to, um, you know, put out? Oh, geez. Stained floor. I really don't want to look at that. Um. Like. Can I shove it into here? 
Girl, you really need to say something when I'm clicking on stuff. Even if you say, mm, that's not gonna work. At least tell me, because I'm sitting here just like flailing. Let's go back down here, see if we can do something there. Like, I'm just sitting here flailing my arms around, and like she's not even saying anything. So yeah, let's head back here. What, what is this? Ooh, that's a nice, uh, dope thingy. There we go. Alright, so... Twisted Remains. Okay. Searing Hot Flames. Scorch Terminal. Okay, so it doesn't look like anything... Oh, this. Yeah, yeah, we already... Oh, she's so ugly. We already learned about that. Charred work death. Well, no shit. Kind of what happens when you blow open an entire room. Oh, come on. Just... I mean... See, that's the one thing. Like I said, I love the context of this game. The problem, though, is that nothing is, like, tells you anything. Like, I have a fire suppression cylinder. A synthetic hydrocarbon-based high-expansion gel. Okay. Uh, PDT is now fully operational. Oh, oh, um, hmm, the atmosphere room, perhaps we can go there, if you guys remember, that's the reason why we need, like, the PDT in the first place, anything on fire in here, nope, yeah, I already know that, whoop, up we go, like they're saying, I may use the um, hmm, sorry. Uh, I may use the um, fire suppression system with the atmospheric system. Not exactly sure. Okay. Yep. Place is still gross. Understand. Now we click on this. Ninety-five degrees. Atmosphere control system, active PD required for terminal access. Alright, so... Like, if I have it in my inventory, just let it work. Our atmospheric and environmental control. Um, area ID 121, air filtration, normal, fan normal, humidity, temperature. Um... Uh, not gonna lie, kind of have no idea. Oh, okay, so let's go to the... I have no idea which room it is. I was not actually expecting there to be this many rooms. So now I need to go figure out which way the... Um, I mean, which one is uh, that weird mutant thing? So, give me a second, guys. So, whoop! The last thing I said to my son was to get out there and carve his own name into the world and stop relying on mine. Did you mean it? Sometimes kids know that their parents say things they don't mean. My mom? The last thing she said to me was that I was the reason she was alone. That I sapped the life out of her from the moment I came into existence. Oh, that's you wonderful. Know that's not true. A small part of me knows that. Oh. A bigger part doesn't. Oh. Thanks, game, for giving me a bit more sadness. 
So they use these little guys to control Samantha. And the gas they give off when they touch dead tissue calms her? Huh. I need to catch one. Oh. I don't know why, but the mo the game, when I walked into this area, just kind of decided to tell me this. Um, but yeah, so that's good to know. Um, however, I still need to, um, I still need to, uh, do the temperature thing. I just thought it'd be important since you just walked and started talking. Alright guys, so now I have the numbers that I need, as well as the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, um, the room numbers, pretty much. So I got those, I wrote them down. So, first is one, two, one. One, two, one, perfect. We need this at humidity being 40 and 65 temperature. Okay. Uh, six, four, eight. Do, 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 do. Where is six, four, eight? Six, four, eight. That one has to be 50 and 60. So drop this down, but increase it to 60. And lastly is 668. Six, zero, 668. Six, this is the actual humidity for um, the, um, the grubs. So that goes to 84% humidity. Do, 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 do. 84 and 95 degrees. Just make sure my numbers are correct. Yep. And 95 degrees. activity detected in grub containment habitat. Fantastic. There we go. Whew, that took a while. Oh, man. <laughs> Mm. You know, standard point and click adventure, it's a lot of running back and forth. <laughs> oh, man. But, you know, <laughs> game's got a game, I guess. Come on, get this way. I think she runs the whole time. I'd be so angry if she did. I'd be so angry if she just, like, walked. Because, like, sometimes, like, just you just want to move. That's the thing about Monkey Island. You never ran anywhere. You just walked everywhere. And it was infuriating. Infuriating. Wow, that word was horrible. Infuriating. Now I think about it more. Infuriating. Infuriating. I don't even know how to say that word anymore. You know, it's like those words that you think about too long until you break down, like, every sound and syllable, and then you realize that that word doesn't even make sense. Even though it's like a word that's been used forever. You don't think about it until you really think about it. Oh, you know, most things. Alright, this should be the grub habitat. There we go. Perfect. Um, delivery here for removing samples safely between observation laboratory and the specimen habitat. Um... <coughs> Baited canister. Like a fire suppression cylinder? Yeah, like, what did your mother say? That you're thinking outside the box and creativity is good for you. Oh, now I... Now I gotta find something else! Oh man, just get me the I still don't know where to even use a canister. I thought one would lead to the other, but nope, I was wrong about that. Anyways, this is gonna be enough for an episode. I'm gonna get that stuff. I'm gonna make sure that I'm up to point. And yeah, we'll, we'll get that done before next episode. So anyways, thank you so much for joining me guys. It's been a great um time. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, you guys have a great evening. Bye bye!